smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notifications. Alright guys, let's get started here. This video is about how to remove paint off of concrete and apply an easy teak color. Now I think this driveway is 30 years old and the paint's been on here for quite a few years. The product that I use is Strip This and it's a gel like product so it's really thick. All right guys, a few really important things with this product is that you gotta put it down fast and cover it with plastic. Now this isn't something that you wanna put on when it's 30 degrees out. This is a fall or spring kind of project. Even like, you know, later, early in the morning is best to apply this. Now the reason being is that uh, once that product dries, that's it. You, you're gonna have to reapply the gel again, go through this whole process. So I ended up doing three coats of application on this driveway. And if I was to do it again, I would probably just apply more product and allow it to sit longer. Um, the first time I got a bit eager, I didn't want it to dry on me, so I immediately started uh, trying to wash it off. I think about an hour later. I found that, uh, you know, you really want to get a good solid coverage with this uh, strip, this product um, to get it on there and make sure that there's enough on top of it. Something you can't quite see from this video is the porch and the steps. This is very thick paint and um, I was amazed how this product was able to take the paint off of this porch. This here is a snake. It's going to catch all of the debris, all of the product uh, coming out of the driveway. And I love these things. You can get them on Amazon and I think they come in like 10 or 20 packs in a box. Um, they're also great for uh, when you're washing down exposed aggregate. These things really absorb a lot of the product rather than going into the, uh, the sewers. Another very important thing that you have to remember if you're gonna to try to attempt this is to have a pressure washer filled with gas and extra gas um, because when, uh, when this product is ready to be removed, you gotta go and you may be there for hours, a couple hours power washing the surface off. 
So a couple things you want to make sure you have is enough product, enough plastic, and also plywood to hold it down or two by fours, um, pressure washer that runs well, and a lot of gas, just to make sure that you got enough to, to get this thing clean. All right guys, so I've stripped the driveway, power washed it clean. Now what I'm gonna do is go a step further. I'm gonna try and revitalize this driveway. And what I'm gonna use is a product called Easy Teak from ProLine. Now this stuff is fantastic for staining stamped concrete, uh, renewing old stamped concrete, bringing back color, maybe touching up chips or spots that are missing. Um, this is Fantastic for decorative concrete. Highly recommend it. So you can actually spray the Easy Teak. You can use a sponge. Um, I like to apply it by hand um, because I like to see what's going on with the concrete and make sure that it's it's absorbing enough into the surface. Um, So a really important tip with the Easy Teak procedure is to make sure that um, the surface is slightly damp, especially on a hot day. You want the surface damp, the surface of the concrete damp, and then you can apply the Easy Teak on top of that. The other thing is um, you want it to dry, so you don't want rain in the forecast. Just like any other sort of concrete repair or application, you wanna make sure that you have good weather days to work with. Um, you know, after it's done and it's dried, it's fine. The Easy Teak, once it's dried, should be okay for moderate rain, um, but I wouldn't take too much of a chance. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have a question or send me an email at theartofconcrete.ca. Um, if you're in the Kitchener-Waterloo area, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks, guys.